Alrighty, welcome back to the Nurgle campaign. And before I start talking about this campaign specifically, at the time of this recording, the uh, CA has released the cinematic trailer for the uh, Thrones of Decay, which I presume by now everybody has seen it by the time this gets uploaded. But they have not released yet the full functionality changes that are going to happen to Nurgle and the Dwarfs. Now, I did think about doing a reaction video because I do have a lot of thoughts about both the cinematic and about the upcoming changes. But I decided against doing a reaction video just yet because I want to wait and see what all the changes are going to be for these factions. I don't consider myself an expert on all three of these factions, but I do play a fair amount of Nurgle and Dwarfs, and I do have a lot of opinions about them. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the changes are, and I think I probably will have maybe some value to add to the conversation. I feel like I probably don't have a whole lot of value to add to the conversation from just the cinematic and the very brief announcement that they made. There are other people who know the lore better than I am. I am excited about the uh, legendary lords and heroes and, and all that, the new units and everything that are being added. Um, I have watched some of the other YouTubers who do know the lore better than I am, better than I do. And, uh, it's, it's enough to get me pretty excited about the upcoming changes. I will say this. I feel like these moments right after a cinematic trailer drops are probably the most exciting times in the, in the franchise history, at least for me, because you get really excited, or at least I do, I get really excited about what's coming up and the reality hasn't sunk in yet. The reality being sometimes there's bugs, sometimes things don't get quite implemented the way that we would like them to. And, and basically, you know, reality is just never quite as good as our hopes and aspirations are. So I get excited at times like this. I think that CA, whatever the flaws that they have in the games, I think their cinematics are top tier. So I always get really motivated whenever I watch some of their there are cinematics and because this one is focused on a couple of factions that I really love a lot this one probably affected me more than most of the others but anyway enough rambling Michael let's get back to the uh, Kugath campaign here I am uh, incidentally really looking forward to playing the other Nurgle Lords and probably all of the Lords I, I probably will play them all plenty but uh, I think it's Nurgle that I'm probably looking forward to the most so anyway I'm um, I have a special fondness for, for Nurgle for some strange reason. Okay, so here we are with, with Demon Grog. We already, if I remember correctly, we already did a battle earlier this turn. Uh, yeah, where is it? Settlement. Yeah, all of the, all of this, all of this has got to be because I conquered something. What did I conquer? Oh, settlement occupied right there. Titan's Notch. Okay, yeah. So that's right, we, we took this Norskin settlement, and that means all that's left is Yeti Peak over here. So, so the turn is over with for Kugath. Pinchai here, you, you could stand to move, however. How strong is this army right here? I wonder if Pinchai could take that army by himself. Probably be kind of silly to even think about it. We do have character units here, which are quite strong, but... We've got overwhelming forces here. There's no reason for us to take any real risks. But what we can do is we can move him. We want to move him to where he's still within the reinforcement range of Titan's Notch and Kugath. And other than that, get him moving down here where he can lay siege to, uh, to Yeti Peak, which is, of course, going to be really one of the easiest battles that we've had in a long time because... Warriors of Chaos just cannot build these minor settlements up much at all. Okay, so you guys are all done. You're raiding over here, so it's up to Demon Grog. Demon Grog is besieging Bamboo Crossing. Bamboo Crossing is taking some attrition. This guy's only level 6. Do they have any... They don't have any characters in there, but they do have three Terracotta Sentinels. Yeah, they got a lot of strong units in there. Okay, I'm going to give this another turn to marinate. 
At some point, I gotta remember to replace these guys right here, these Marauders. I want to replace them with, with something better. Chaos Warriors, maybe. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll do that after this upcoming battle. I, I do have a lot of good character units, but we know from fighting these walled, uh, walled city battles that, uh, that they can be quite, uh, quite, uh, high casualty battles. We do have to consider Mao Ying. Mao Ying might actually run forward. Maybe we go ahead and fight it for that reason. Let's go ahead and fight it for that reason. They have uh, two breaches in the wall already. Do we have... Uh, we got Nurgle's Rot. That's what we want. I can't really put a, a new plague on them because of the fact that they're already besieged. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Let's go ahead and... Let me, wait a minute, let me take a look at the map here. What does this settlement look like? This is the spy, or not the spiral, the circular one, right? With all the ways in. Oh, no, no, I must be thinking of a different campaign. Okay. No, yeah, no, of course, that's, that was a minor settlement map that I was thinking of, and this is a walled settlement. All right, um... Celestial Dragon Guards. See, here's the thing. It's going to entirely be up to our our characters because our, our Marauder units are rubbish against basically everything that they've got here. Yeah, every single one of their units is stronger than ours. It, like... I wouldn't trust every single every single non-character unit in our army. I wouldn't trust them to take out a single one of their their, their units here. Um, I'm gonna give it another turn. With the wall shooting at us, with the uh, with all the buffs that they get. Okay. Um, so that makes it easy then. So we. Oh yeah, you. I need to decide what to do with you. I think, uh, yeah, we'll continue to let you build up your Winds of Magic. We do want our agent here to keep visibility on, on Mao Ying. And then actually, you could even assault the garrison. Well, never mind, we're not going to assault the garrison with this army up here, so forget that. Okay, from a uh, from a settlement standpoint, what do we want to do with our money here? Is there anything worth building? Right here, Blizzard Peak. Let's give you... Oh, yeah, so I can I can actually recruit some more uh, characters. Let's... Okay, so we've already got what here? We've got the basic military buildings, infrastructure building, Plague Flesh poppies. We've got growth. So we'll do... Uh, I guess we'll do control here. Oops. Oh, no, we already have control. Oh, I've already got control right there. No wonder, okay. All right, let's give uh, corruption, I suppose. Okay, what else? Karak Dumb. You can now... afford... the other basic military building. Okay, works for me. Now we're just about out of money. But we're getting really good income. Everything here is good. Okay, so back to here. Here's the question. Do we want to recruit any more characters? I don't think we need to. we got so many characters on the map right now. 
I could also enlarge this army. I could also re replace this guy with Dungrut. Let me do that. Let me pull him up. If I replace him with Dungrut, okay. And now Dungrut, what are you... You were building up for Plague Bearers, Marauders, Chaos Warriors, Chosen for... Okay, interesting. So this is not just the mortal units, but also the Plague Bearers and the Exalted Plague Bearers. Um, presumably. Yeah, Exalted Plague Bearers, okay. So... So that's good for you. I could just give you more of those. How many more can I recruit here? They are quite expensive, aren't they? Exalted Plague Bearers, they're at 1430. I'm going to go ahead and recruit a few more. It gives us six. So let's do that. I want to try to keep this above 5,000, our income above 5,000. So then let's give you a little bit of, uh, let's give you some rot flies maybe, or plague drones. Let's give you, uh, we can only afford one. Um, yeah, we could only afford one rot fly as well. The difference between rot flies and plague drones 38 38 36 26 I don't see any reason to not just get the plague drones. I'll wait until I can afford two, however, because I like doing things in in even numbers. Part of my obsessive compulsive nature. Meanwhile, oh, they do but I just now noticed this other army over here. Okay, so this is good to know. This is definitely good to know. And this army has got some decent units in it as well. Terracotta Sentinel, Jet Lion, Jade Lancers, Jade Warriors, Celestial Dragon Guard. I obey yeah, okay. Alright. I... I'm going to give this one more turn up here. If, uh, if Mao Ying starts moving up in that direction... Okay, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. I really could not afford to lose these guys. Got a lot of good units here, though. A lot of good characters. Not all of them are good, but most of them are quite good. Yeah, but that, I mean, look at all these units. There's 20 units that are all very good in there. Now, I'm, I'm still not going to risk it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at our technology research. Rants and visitations is always something to c consider for uh, our great unclean ones. Blight Boil is another one to consider. And I've already taken all of those. I'm going to give... I'm going to do a Rancid Visitations for our Great Old Ones. And let's check our Diplomacy out. I don't think there's going to be anything... Hey, look at that! How surprising. Kolek would like to have peace with us. Shocking. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, end our turn and see what happens. Okay, so there's Zarina Katarine. She's actually moving away from us. That's interesting. So we don't really have to worry about her. And the Zardom of Kislev here, this is Kostaltan. We do need to pay attention to him since we're now at war with him. 
Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. That's not Castalton. That's still the Tsarina. We're not at war with Castalton yet. I did not actually declare war on him. I just started raiding him. Opportunity there to take a little bit of of water. Okay, so Mao Ying is moving towards us. Okay, that's interesting right there. That's quite a quite an army. That was uh Lokir's army, I guess. Okay, there's Grimgore. There's the other Grog, the Imposter Grog. I think that one hero unit is the, oh, excuse me, two hero units. I think that's pretty much the total of Colex forces at this point. Now it looks like he recruited a, a lord in Yeti Peak there. Even so, not going to be much more than a speed bump. And Dolgan, you going to attack us? You're laying siege to uh, to us, okay? That's fine. And you're declaring war on us, or I'm sorry, you're uh, you're actually attacking us, okay? Let's take a look here at the at the map. I think we can fight this fairly quickly. At this point, I believe my pitiful little nurgling army is unstoppable until proven otherwise. Nurglings against. Not not exactly the finest that Norska has to offer, but there's some strong units in there. Certainly in a vacuum, they would be stronger than Nurglings. Okay, start deployment. Where are they? They attacked me and I can't see them. I guess maybe that's... I guess that's normal when you're defending in a settlement. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and... Uh... No, it's not normal when you're defending in a settlement. You can usually see where the enemy is. Oh well. Let's get uh, all of you guys. I'm gonna put all of them on nine and just kind of keep them out of the fight. No reason for them to even get involved in this. Kugath, you're up front. I'm going to get the uh, the Plague Ridden to do their thing flying up and using Locus of Contagion and the Cultist in the middle. And let's go ahead and start the battle. Okay, so you can go ahead and fly that way. You can go ahead and fly that way. Where's our soul grinder? And our beast. Forgot about them. Didn't position them. And you turn to where you're actually able to shoot at them. There we go. Might as well hit those Marauder Champions. And then you... Just gonna get up here and do your Locus of Contagion. And then you. Okay, you can come back now. Yeah, actually, you come over here. I want you to hit these champions as well.
And now you can come down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys land. Just get in the middle there where you're fairly safe. And land. Okay, Kugath. Go ahead and cast your buff. And at this point, get in on him and you get in on him as well you over on this side you're fine you stay in the middle for now beast of nurgle let's get you oh wow the enemy lord's already wounded okay let's go ahead and get you in it in on this scrum right here, I suppose. Yeah, Kugath, you're you're pretty strong. You just do your thing, okay? Let's go ahead and get a uh, stream of corruption here. Now over on this side, we've got our banner of Hellfire. You go ahead and get in there. Try to kill him if you can. Never mind, he's running away. Don't don't bother. Okay, you can go ahead and do your Locus of Contagion again. And over on this side, move forward a little bit and do your Locus of Contagion. And I think we're going to go ahead and do a Blight Boil because it's so much fun. And let's watch this. Okay. Yeah, that did a number on them. Kugath over here, you have taken some damage, my man. Let's get you out of there. And uh, you can keep shooting. It's probably the, uh, yeah, it's all the missile attacks that are on him. Let's go ahead and get you. Oops, not you. Those are my reinforcements. You guys aren't even going to get here in time. Let's get you on him. Over here, you're doing fine. Kugath. Okay, this is not really a big deal because we're going to heal Kugath up. And all that damage that they did is going to be for naught. Let's go ahead and get you now over here. Firing at these guys. Everybody over here looks like they're pretty well running away. Except for one unit. We got one unit left here. Go ahead and use your healing potion. You don't really need to, but you can charge in on them. You've taken some damage. You use your healing potion as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Summon off. And then let's get you in on there. Okay. Alright. Everybody who has taken any damage, that includes you, the the garrison leader. In fact, all of our characters. Let's get all of our characters up here. And speed things up. Are you here? You're here. Kugath, you're here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our fleshy abundance. Let's go ahead and speed up. And okay, that'll do it. In battle. Sites of victory, decent favor, decent experience, and let's go with the uh, let's go with the infections again. 
At this point, we're pretty well set in terms of our infections. Okay, settlement receives plague, ice spewer, Vigo or Vigo. Charmed shield for Penchai, okay. Settlement receives plague. All right. Very good. Oh, that's right, we got a plague cult. We got some buildings constructed, we got some ranks gained, and we got war between Grimgore and the Lizardmen. And uh, here we've got, uh, oh, interesting. So this is Castalton and the Manblight Warherd. Well, that Manblight Warherd is not gonna last long, I suspect. Okay, so Kugath's army here. We've got the palsy on us, so that's not really the ideal plague, but I don't think it really matters all that much right now. We do get some, some skill increases here, some ranks. We've literally given you just about everything there. Let's go ahead and give uh, damage walls. And you can have specialist. Wait a minute. Have I given you... I could give you... Why your leadership is low? Why is your leadership that low? Something is... is decreasing our leadership. Well, I'm going to give you a boost to leadership then. And Pinchai. Locus of Contagion. Okay, so back to here. Our garrison now, our garrison by itself is certainly strong enough to... Well, that garrison's not strong enough to withstand much of anything, but the fact that this army is really depleted, we'll just wipe this army out, and then... Can you... Okay, so he can actually reach. Kugath, if we were to attack here, that barely uses any of your... You can actually reach from there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually attack... Dolgan here with Pinchai. And that brings out Kugath, brings Kugath in as a reinforcement. Leadership plus seven. Let's give it to... None of you guys really need it. I'll give it to you. Okay, and then um, let's go ahead and fight the battle. And then this way we'll attack the uh, Yeti, Yeti Peak with, uh, with Kugath himself. And we'll bring Pinchai in as a reinforcing army if he can reach. Start deployment. I have a feeling you guys pro we probably don't even need to wait for Kugath to come in. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Are they going to come towards us? They're not. They're going to wait. Well, I can't say I blame them because things don't look good for them, but waiting is really not going to help them because there's no reason for us to suffer casualties if we don't need to since we're going to fight another battle later this turn when we attack Yeti Peak. So we might as well use our artillery advantage here. So let's go ahead and get our Nurglings here. Like so. And then the Beast, you get here. You come over here. And where's Kugath? Kugath, where are you, buddy? There you are. Let's get you up front. You're right. Actually, you come over here as well, because I want you to have a good... You guys actually get like this. You two get out of here. We don't need you. In fact, all of you guys get out of here. We don't need you. You, we don't need you.
All you guys are my nine. I just want you off. Okay. All right. And now let's go ahead and just open fire with Kugath here. And with our soul grinder. We'll go ahead and send our uh, plague ridden on rot flies forward. Let's get you guys kind of back here. Let's slow it down for the moment. Get you guys in the cluster here. Okay, right here. Go ahead and do. Focus of Contagion, and heck, you might as well attack the Marauders. Why not? You get get back here. Where's my other Rotfly? My other Plague Ridden on a Rotfly, I should say. Let's get you... Here. Okay, good enough. You can you can leave now. And you can leave as well. And let's just for kicks drop a uh, let's drop a vortex here. Just because we can afford to be wasteful. And see where it goes. It's actually doing a little bit better than I thought it might. You can drop a Blight Boil over here. Oh, they're moving away from it. They got smart. Okay, I guess Blight Boil is something that they'll dodge if they can. Well, not necessarily. This unit right there didn't. We kind of moved right into the, uh, the danger zone. All right, let's go ahead and speed things up again. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's go ahead and charge. Our exalted heroes. Into their lines. Where are you at? I lost track of where you are. Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? Did I forget to move you? I did. Oh well. Don't think it matters a whole lot. You can go ahead and do your Locus of Contagion again. And you can do it back here. You go ahead and attack them. Why not drop a Fate of Buna on them as well? It's wasteful, but we can afford to be wasteful. You... And you join him. And I think that'll pretty much do it. Let's get all of the exalted heroes on him. Never mind, he's already broken. Okay, my soul grinder, you fire at him. Let's get my plague riddens on him. Actually, soul grinder, stop firing at him because you'll hit our plague riddens. And you guys, do you, any of you have buffs here to increase the chances that you can kill them? Never mind, we'll just do a, uh, let's do a rancid visitations on them. And that's that, okay. Just always want to kill that lord if you can. Not the most exciting battle I've ever fought. A 
Okay. I think we'll take the take the favor here. I don't really think we need more infections at this point. Okay, and are they wiped out now? Miscast base chance, okay. Faction destroyed Dolgan, okay, very good. Let's uh, let's go ahead and apply our ranks. Oh, you're immortal now. Immortal is always good. And let's give you Wound Maker. And you right here, Kugath, you got a rank. Taking Lightning Strike with Kugath, it looks like. And uh, Mintash the Black here. You are getting Specialist. Okay, and then Kugath's army. Again, what do you have on you? You got palsy. It probably doesn't matter what what we have. I don't think we have to worry about our plague for this battle. Decisive victory, of course. We're just gonna encircle it and see if Pinchai can reach. Pinchai, can you reach? Looks like you can, as long as I put you in March Stance. So now, uh, Titan's Notch there is looking pretty undefended, but... I don't see any enemy armies up there, just the enemy heroes. So I think it's safe to leave it pretty well abandoned for now. Kugath, let's go ahead and fight this. This is not Kolek. Kolek never... Oh, I think maybe we killed Kolek in the last episode. I can't remember now. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Okay, just a regular looking field. And how many times do we wipe out two factions in one turn? Not very often. Not with this kind of campaign. Not with the campaign movement speed being reduced the way it is. Okay, and let's go ahead and just get... Get you guys back here. I'll go ahead and put them on four. Oops. All of you guys are on four. And lock you, but I'm probably not even going to do anything with them. Probably never, never issue a single order for them. Let's go ahead and get the Plague Bears up here. Cultist, the Beast, Soul Grinder, start battle. Oh, they're running away from me. Why are they doing that? Okay, don't shoot into the trees, please. Never mind, they're all going into the trees. Never mind, shoot at whatever you want to. You can attack the Chaos Warriors here. I'm sorry, the Chaos Warhounds, I mean. And then over here, you can attack something. Let's go ahead and drop a uh, stream of corruption on these guys. Wait a minute. Are they moving or not? Yes, they are, okay. Go ahead and hit them. See, if, if these guys turn around, then we'll just use more magic on them. Meanwhile, over here, you're doing fine. Let's go ahead and drop a, uh, a vortex right on top of ourselves to hit both of those units. I guess we probably did some serious damage to ourselves there. No, no we didn't. No, we're fine. And over here, how are you doing? Okay, some units did turn around. Let's go ahead and just hit everybody over here with a Blight Boil. 
Hope I didn't completely screw that up. Yeah, I did kind of screw that up. Oh well, I was trying to hit both of those units and I ended up not really hitting either one of them very well. Okay, let's go ahead and get... Let's get you headed towards the enemy lord. You as well. Kugath, you stay back here in order to do that. But not really too worried. Let's go ahead and get a uh, stream of corruption off on. Nah, that's not going to work very well. How about now? That did okay. Alright, over here, you're doing fine. You're coming back towards us. You are doing fine. Let's get the, the beast in on those flesh hounds. You should be attacking the enemy lord. You already are. You should be attacking the enemy lord. I thought that that's what I had targeted, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's go ahead and get a uh, stream of corruption off on these guys. You can go ahead and hit, hit them. I think that's going to probably just pretty much do it. Let's, uh, let's see. Who's not... Oh, there we go. Lord's down. Okay. Victory in battle. Wow, we're 43 minutes in it by my timer. And it's been pretty much non-stop battles. All right. A little bit of favor, a little bit of experience, but most importantly is we're taking the settlement and... Faction destroyed Star Crushers, unless I have just completely missed something. Occupy. Potion of Toughness, we'll take it. Diplomatic Relations, whatever. Faction destroyed Star Crushers, okay. Province secured. Excellent. Okay. There we are. Two factions destroyed in one turn. Got a few more... Ranks here to apply. All right, very, very good. I remember way back towards the beginning of this campaign when Kolek first kind of, he didn't declare war on us, but he was moving around inside our territory and making me nervous. Well, the, uh, the worm has turned, hasn't it, Kolek? All right, let's go ahead and give Pinchai Fleshy Abundance, it's too good not to take. Exalted Hero, let's give you... Woundmaker. Alright, Oedipus, what are you getting? I'm still giving you Woundmaker. 16, I'm going to give you Leadership. For some reason, the, the leadership of some of our units is not as high as I thought it was. I guess maybe Plague Ridden never have great leadership. Okay, you already have Assault Garrison and Assassinate and Specialist. I'm going to give you Spread Control. That was dumb. I shouldn't have given him Spread Control. I should have taken Assault Units. Oh, well. All right. Um, let's see here. Woundmaker for you. And I think... Nope, that's not everybody. You, my friend, Simon Becker, you've been with us for a long time. Let's give you Gate of Nurgle. Okay. Now, this province has been secured, Yeti Peak. We want to level you up, and you don't have a resource. We're going to give you... Oh, that's all we have here are two minor settlements in this province. Very interesting. Okay, well, not... 
Not really that big of a deal. Let's give you control, I suppose. Titan's Notch, are you, uh, yeah, both of them are un unpleasant climates, so this is not going to be one of our better provinces, that's for sure. But we might as well give you... Is your Nurgle Corruption... Not yet at 100, but there's no reason to take that. I'll give you that for control and to and to slow down enemy armies, just in case. Okay, and now Falpus. You're actually losing Winds of Magic, which I'm not crazy about. But you are gaining 632 favor per turn, plus you're getting... Focus of contagion, of course. Plus, you're getting um, experience for for these characters. Not as much as fighting battles, but also very low risk. And uh, do so. Do we want to just keep raiding? Let me see here. She's got. How many settlements left? The Tsarina has... Four settlements. She's pretty weak. Castalton has 25 settlements. He's pretty strong. Alright. Um, I may keep... No, you know what I'm going to do? Let's start thinking about our next target, and by our next target, I'm kind of leaning Grimgor. Let me just take a look around here. No, there are there are definitely there's value. These are pleasant. These are suitable climates for us. So there is value in us taking these places. I think maybe I'll leave him up here. And eventually, Castalton will get tired of us raiding, and he'll declare war on us, and then we'll we'll start conquering these cities. Although that's a maybe we want to do a surprise attack. This is a Ziggurats of Zorna. This cool. You guys, who are you at war with? Are you at war with Castalton? You are not. The Silver Pinnacle is all. Oh, that's Astrogoth, okay? Yeah, I'm not an expert on the Chaos Dwarves. I've actually never played Chaos Dwarves, even though I own the DLC and they look cool. Just never got around to it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just going to raid for now. And then back to here with you. Mao Ying is not close enough to, to threaten us up here. I'm a little disappointed that Lokir... Oh, uh, it wasn't Lokir who attacked, it was uh, this army right there. I don't love them having two armies right here, I gotta be honest. How strong is Lokir? He's not all that strong. He's got seven settlements, but he's only strength 24. Ooh, Grimgor's all the way down to fourth. Okay, so who's one and three? This is Oxyadol is three. Okay, I'm not going to attack Grimgor right now, I'm thinking, because the order tied between Oxyadol and Castalton and possibly the dwarves here. All I can see is Karakadren, but he's ninth. Possibly the High Elves. I can't really see them. I'm not too worried about Reichland, but there are some Order factions that are quite strong, and I'm thinking I don't really want the chaos -y factions fighting each other if the Order factions start getting their act together and, and banding together. So I'm actually leaning now towards Castalton being the next target. Meanwhile, you decide... Decide whether or not to attack here. Without mercy. 
I've got eight minutes left. This is definitely more than an eight-minute battle. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for next episode, which means not attacking this turn. Meanwhile, you... Okay, I'm going to recruit a little bit more into here. Again, I want to keep this above 5,000. So we can recruit a couple of plague drones. And we need a soul grinder here as well, don't we? Uh-oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we are right at 5,000. Let's go ahead and give this army the proper plague, which in this case, crumbling ague, because you need the extra replenishment. Okay. Now, now Cathay is in bad shape. If she moves up here, that means she's... She's at risk of us attacking down here. Can I raid? Can I reach her territory and raid? I can. But if I do raid, I don't get any I don't get the replenishment. Okay. But we're not gonna we're not gonna raid just yet. Because we need the replenishment. And then you can Wait a minute, I lost track of an army over here. Where's the other army at? Oh, it's still in there. I just, for some reason, lost sight of it. Interesting. Okay. I think I will eventually get Commissar Veerflox back into this army over here. But uh, there's no hurry. You, I've already decided I can't fight that battle in this episode, so... Right here, you've already moved, you've already moved. You are going to keep raiding for now. The question then becomes, ne starting next turn with Kugath. If I'm not going to attack Grimgore, what am I gonna do with Kugath? What's over here? Chaos Dwarves. All I've got is Grimgore Chaos, and Chaos Dwarves as my... and Cathay if I go all the way down to here. So I think that means that we want to take Kugath westward and help in a war against Castalton. It's going to take several turns to get there, but I think it's a lot smarter to focus on Castalton... Castalton, excuse me than it is to uh, start another war with Grimgore and Castalton at the same time. All right, well, anyway, we're going to decide that next turn, I think. Just time to do our buildings here, our settlements. Let me give you a plague. Forgot to do this last turn. I'm getting sloppy. Okay, and then anything else to build? Doesn't look like it. We've got lots of buildings that are already in pro... Oh, here we go. Okay, Temple of, of Heimkull. You can do... We've already got that. What do we need here? Do we... We don't desperately need public order, but it probably wouldn't hurt. But what we really need is this. Let's go ahead and do public order and this. And that's all of our money. Okay, Lord not moved. Yes, we know. Diplomacy real quick. Nothing to do there. Okay. Now what's she doing? She's turned around. I should check to see if she's at war with the the Chaos Dwarves there. 
I'm assuming not, or she wouldn't just walked right by them like that. Okay. Yeah, they don't really seem to be fighting each other, do they? Gosh, Kadrak, what about you? Can you put up any kind of a... Ooh, maybe you can put up some resistance against Grimgor. The other thing about that makes me not love the idea of going to war with Grimgor is his territory is not good for us. So even if we were to take all of his territory... It's all unpleasant. All, all uh, like, uh, not good for us. Okay, the Blessed Fleet, you guys aren't really doing a whole heck of a lot, are you? I just don't want you to attack me, that's the main thing. Reichland. Archaeon. He hasn't really done much in this campaign. Okay, call, call or cool. Is anybody going to fight each other? Is anybody going to fight anybody else, or does it always have to be us? Okay. Mission issued. We need to raise or sack Fu Hung. Yeah, well, we're working on it. Army receives Plague, Pinch Eye. That's fine. Oh, I missed an assassin attempt. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay, now he's close enough. That when we attack, it's going to pull him in. Great, I'm glad I waited, because that's awesome. Okay, that's what we're going to start out the next episode with, is I'll launch this attack right away. And we'll let, uh, we'll let Loke here do all the dirty work for us. Um, that's, that's nice. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Okay. And then we have, we have to find Mal Ying here. What can we do against Mal Ying? Nothing. Not, not really very surprising there. Okay, I guess you don't really have to keep going that way. We could get a plague on her. I don't think she's... I obey only, said Young. She cannot quite reach. Well, it doesn't matter because we're going to attack the city before she moves again. Okay, oh, we do have... Okay, so here we go. Now we've got... We've got some uh, wars breaking out up here. This is probably the main one that interests us. If we're going to be fighting over in, on this side. Okay, meanwhile... Let me zoom out a little bit. And take a look here. You are actually closer to the action in Cathay than you are to over here. Let me see, are there any? Let me, I'm gonna take a look at Grimgore here real quick. What is our relationship with Grimgore? Is it going up or going down? It is going down. He's at war with... Chaos Dwarves, Lizards, Lizards, Chaos Dwarves. Okay. Well, the Lizards aren't going to befriend us, but the Chaos Dwarves will like us if we do decide to attack him. I'm back to leaning towards attacking uh, Grimgore just because... That's kind of where Kugath is. That's where our army is. And uh, it would, if we do take his territory, at least it would make us one big contiguous empire. 
instead of fragmented the way we are with a north and a south. However, that's a it's not an, it's a not a big if so much as it's going to take a very long time to do it because Grimgore is so strong. So I don't really know that it's a great idea to attack him. But luckily we don't have to decide just yet because we can do that. We can decide that at the beginning of the next episode because we are now over an hour. Let me just go ahead and apply the ranks here while I'm thinking about it. Deadly Blade for you. You're down to 485 that you're getting. Demon Grog is going to lead off the next episode by attacking here. I think at this point I'm going to I'm leaning towards stopping doing the back-to-back -back, uh Kugath episodes and just get things on a regular schedule. I know I was racing to finish this campaign prior to um prior to the release of the DLC. At this point I mean we're going to have a short victory. I think we're probably yeah, we're almost at a short victory now. Um, so we're going to have a short victory. If the game continues to be playable, the campaign continues to be playable after the uh, DLC drops, I'll probably keep playing this. But it may not be, and I doubt if an extra one or two episodes is going to make that big of a difference. But what one thing I have definitely noticed is in the analytics, one of the two episodes, every time I do back-to-back -back Nargle episodes... It's not consistent as to whether it's the first one or the second one, but one of the two of them almost always underperforms compared to almost everything else. It's because presumably, well, anyway, I don't even want to speculate on it, but uh, um, I think at this point I'm going to try to just kind of get everything back into a regular one, one episode from each of the campaigns at a time and see if... Uh, see if that does a, performs a little bit better in terms of the audience. So I am still trying to learn how best to deliver videos. So anyway, all right, enough uh, rambling again. I think that's all we have time for in this episode, but we are definitely going to kick off the next episode with the attack up here on Bamboo Crossing, followed by a decision as to who our next enemy is going to be. So it's still pretty major uh, crossroads that we're going to be at at that point. So make sure you stick around for that. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.